Welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video. In this video, we're gonna take a look at Bitcoin. I'm gonna give you an in-depth analysis. We're gonna take a look at Glassnode, some of the charts over there, and try and figure out where are we right now in this crypto space? Are we still at the bottom? Are we at the top? How long do we have until the top is in? All of these questions you might want to know. If it's sounding interesting, drop that like, give me a subscribe, uh, and, and also take a look at some of these charts over here. So I've got this one up right here which I discussed in my last video. This is the Keltner channel. Uh, and I was looking for a position uh, on Bitcoin to fall down and reach this sort of green zone. At the worst case, this yellow uh, zone here, which it has not done yet. And then we're also going to take a look at, you know, these charts here. So I've got that net unrealized profits on Glassnode. Uh, we've got the exchange. Actually, we don't need to see that one. We're focused on the net unrealized profit loss, uh, MVR score, because this is powerful as well. These give us a great insight as to where we are in the crypto space today. But before we do the glass note, because you know that's powerful stuff, let's just come over to what's going on with the price right now. So, just to keep it clean and simple, uh, the Keltner channel looks for trends when the trends reversing and things like that. And usually, if we've ever seen, I'm just gonna skip back a bit, if we've ever seen price action when it's in a bear market or downtrend reverse, it comes above this yellow line. And if it holds support on this yellow line, we usually see it ride it like a wave and we see a massive parabolic run, which is what we saw in 2020, 2021's bull cycle. I've got this on the weekly time frame. Kelt in the channel, KC, right? That's the indicator. Uh, and it works the same way. Once the, while we're seeing a, a, a wave ride, if we ever see price action, which is the red candles, break below, or red and green candles, if it breaks below this yellow line, then that's a sign that the, the trend is weak and we may see it reverse. Now, I've been looking for, when it breaks this yellow line downwards, near enough spot on every time, we always see it come out and pierce the, this blue line because we've got a top blue line and we've got a bottom blue line if we ever see the uh, price action pierce this yellow line where at some point in the future it's going to come through this bottom blue line and this is what we saw right here right i'm just going to put a nice little circle i'm going to make the circle yellow so you can see it nice and clear i mean you can see it anyway <laughs> make it more clear for you there you go uh so we've been looking for piercings of the bottom to confirm you know are we at the bottom of the market and stuff? We had obviously a, a double bottom, one here and one here. We had a small pierce in here, but this here signaled, you know, this is coming out. This is seriously oversold. This is the part where people are going to be looking to uh, buy at the bottom. And, and just an example here, right? So we saw 2017's uh, rally, 2018. It pierced through this yellow line. Price action came through this yellow line. That was a sign that the trend was reversing. We're coming down now. And because we pierced through this yellow line, look again, look, the bottom blue line, at some point we had to pierce through it. So we break through the yellow line. I'm looking for the bottom of the piercing here. And this is where it was. It pierced through the blue line. That was a great buy. Every time it happens, look, pierced us through this yellow line here. We see it pierce through the bottom all the time. So that's what we've been looking for in the past. This is what we thought we found here. But now we're seeing a reversal, right? So Bitcoin's been bullish over the last few weeks. It's come above this yellow line and I think it's going to ride it like a wave. Like I said to you, when price action is good, when we're coming out of a bearish sort of momentum and we hover over this yellow line, we ride it like a wave, right? And that's what we've got here. So I thought we was coming down to about 25,000, 24,000. This is this little box area here. We saw a wick come down there, but it's been bought up. Is there still room for Bitcoin's price to fall? Yes, it could still come down and test this green zone. And if we broke this yellow line, which is, again, a powerful line, if we broke it, then I would expect it to come down to this blue line here, maybe see a little pierce and a little wick and then get brought back up again. But this is slowly rising. These lines are slowly rising. So we're going to see what happens in time. Because if, you know, if I wanted to, I could take this box and just extend it a little bit like this because the price, this yellow line has been rising, right? The whole count the channel channels going with the price. So that's pretty much that. You can take a look here at the RSI, which is this bottom indicator. And bring it up a bit so you can see. Uh, and we have the, again weekly time frame. So you know when you, and for those that are new, when you look at this RSI, we've got a, like a little box, a little blue zone box. Anything above the dotted lines is overbought, meaning Bitcoin's been extremely overbought. You could see that in the 21 cycle, look, massive parabolic being overbought. And you know, if it's underneath, oversold. So when you look down here on this RSI right here, this was the part where we were really oversold for Bitcoin. We had never been this oversold this much for like look, four years, five years, longer than that. Look, if you look at back in 2018, look at where the RSI was. We had never been this low in oversold. 
for like maybe maybe longer. What's this? 2014. We're talking eight years was the last time we peaked out of this dotted line. So it does not happen often. This is a powerful signal to let you know you should be buying at these drops. And look at where the price was, you know, right back here, uh, 2014 cycle. Look at that. So the bottom here, it peaked through, right? Look at this. Look at the price action right here, this wick. If you'd have bought here like a boss and, and look again, look, see how price action, look, it fell through. It pierced through this blue line. Right, so this was the signal that everybody should be buying here. And where was the price action at that time? Uh, funny enough, it was where it pierced through this area here, right? Which is why many people were thinking it was the bottom. So since then, we've been on, up, on an uptrend, but we broke this yellow line on the uh, RSI. So I'm paying attention. I don't know, is it going to come down and test lows down here again? If it does uh, on the RSI, then it's likely that we may see Bitcoin's price come down to this blue line as well. But we will see what happens. It can still ride it. There's plenty of room for this to flip, you know, and go back up again. Because look, look at the overbought areas here. You know, we've got lots of space for the RSI to come up. So that's that's you know, I tried to keep that clean and simple if you like you know if you're liking that so far drop your likes and stuff let's take a look at uh, I got a, a lot to show you uh, this here I also use this 20 week moving average line which is right here the yellow line let me just close this little uh, ad thing that keeps popping up because uh, I was expecting it to come down to this 20 week moving average if we was uh, if we was to see a pullback so we did see again this wick here it didn't quite come as low uh, and again, this average line is moving up. So where I had the dotted line before, I can probably bring this up a bit. You see, I can drag this up a bit because, you know, the, the yellow line is moving up. So if Bitcoin was to fall, you know, being in a bullish bullish trend, I would expect it to come down to this yellow line, which is about $25,000, 25200 if we was to see a fall. Just like what happened here, look, we saw a massive fall down and this wick just got bought up. This is buy power. When you see wicks like this, this is people buying, buying the coin, buying Bitcoin. And it's very bullish. This candle here is a bullish candle, which is why we saw that massive move up after that. So, yeah, 25,200, write it down. Or, it's, yeah, around 25,200, write that down. Let's now get into the juicy part. The uh, glass node data. I'm going to try and save these images for Patreons to see. Right, so you can keep an eye on, you know, have it on your journey. And I'm going to try and keep you up to date with these because they're absolutely powerful and they can guide you on your journey. The MVRV score, Z, the M, MVRV Z score. Let's explain what it does. So it says the MVRV score is used to access when Bitcoin is over, over and undervalued relative to its fair value. So when the market value is, is significantly higher than realized value, it has a histo it, ha it has sorry, historically indicated a market top red zone. And then same for the bottom, if, you know, a green zone when the market's bottom. So very clean very simple the black line is the price action for bitcoin this orange line is the mvrv score if you've ever seen this orange line peak up into this red zone see this red zone that is a serious big indicator that you should be selling your crypto it's not often that it peaks into this red zone and take a look every time we've seen this orange line spike into this red zone that's a sign that you should be selling your crypto. And it's always happened at peaks, you know, euphoric moments at the top of the cycles, right? So if you was watching this back in 2020, 2021, you would have known exactly when to be taking profits. Because, you know, again, this red zone shows you when to sell and the bottom zone shows you when to buy it. You can make absolute insane gains, like an absolute boss, just by watching this on Glassnode period. Now, obviously, I've paid for that uh, full version of Glassnode, so I get everything unlocked. You can see the most recent data, which is on the right-hand side here. It constantly shows me every day the updated data. Uh, and this is what I'm trying to give to my patrons as well, so they can see what's going on. I'm going to try and keep you active on this one. It's important. All right. So, like I said, this is at, uh, the red zone is when you should be selling. Green zone is phenomenal buys. This is buys of a lifetime. If you ever see this indicator, the orange indicator, come down to this green zone, buy the crap out of it. If it peaks under it, buy it like a boss because it does not happen often. 2012 was when we peaked right down in this green zone and underneath it. The next time was 2015, three years later. The next time was 2019, four years later. So you're talking every three to four years, this indicator gives you this signal to be buying like an absolute boss. But what I like about it as well is, you can get a little insight as to where we are in the market right now. If you take a look back at 2012, when we were down in you know this uh, MVRV score, when we were down in this zone here, you can see it was at the bottoms of this market, this market cycle, bearish of the bottom, you know. 
when it came out of it, you know, followed this this sort of like orange line. Look, follow it. I'm trying to hover over it without it like showing the stupid like little box. The box keep pop, keeps popping up. But follow this. Look, you can see with my hand where we are in relation to the MBRV score and then the price action compared to where it's going to go in the future, right? So, for example, 2012, if it was anywhere around here, it's sort of midway through this market bull cycle, or, or maybe the bull cycle just begun, because, you know, if you look at price action in this area here, you had all this extra time before it went crazy parabolic, and then we saw this orange line peak out like this into the red zone. So then if we take a look now at the 20, what is this? 2015's bull site bottom, the 20, you know, this whole green zone, great time to buy, 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 buy. Again, it's giving you an insight as to where about you are in the market right now. So it breaks out. Look, it's just broken out and you can see some little orange action here out, outside of this green zone underneath. And look at where the market is. So we're sort of like, you've got a long time until market really explodes and goes crazy. And before this orange line as well picks up and spikes into this red zone. And why am I saying this? Because if you take a look at the right-hand side, <laughs> maybe left for you. Uh, if you take a look over here, I'm just going to, you know, hover over it. Look at where we are. So we've been in this down green zone. This whole green zone was the opportunity of a buy of a lifetime. And we peaked out of it now. And we're sort of hovering. We're hovering sort of like where we were hovering back here in 20, you know, 2016, like here. And if you take a look at the price up here, this might be where we are right now in this next bull cycle. So it's likely the bull market's begun. And we might be somewhere here based on this Glassnode analysis. And what I love about Glassnode is it takes information that you can find, that you can't find anywhere else. Meaning like, when you think about price action, you only get the information that you're seeing on exchanges. This takes it from the blockchain. So you're seeing information off exchanges that you do not get all over the blockchain. It's powerful. Uh, so yeah, we could be somewhere here like you know in for for the bull cycle to come and if that's the case then you know we've got a lot of time to be accumulating still it's a good time to be buying and maybe consider uh taking profits when we see this orange line peak up into this red zone which we we're right down here right now so i will keep you up to date on this zone you know i'm going to keep you up to date on this orange line and when it gets up to this it peaks into this red area i'm going to be saying guys you need to consider taking profits it's up in here so, you know, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to give you clean, simple analysis that you can take with you on your journey. And I sure as hell know where I'm going to be selling. I'm going to be selling when I see these orange lines peak up and the price. Look at where the market is as it's peaking into the red zone. Like a boss. Let's take a look at net unrealized profit loss. How, do, how does this work? I can't remember. So net unreal, I know how from looking at it. Uh, net unreal, unrealized loss, profit loss, is the difference between uh, relative unrealized profit and relative unrealized loss. So uh, when people make money, if you if you've got if you put a hundred quid in and it's gone up to fifty thousand pounds, if you have not realized it yet, then meaning that if you have not actually taken that fifty thousand dollars, it's still sitting there in whichever coin. Let's say Pepe, for example, then you haven't got that money. You know, because it could fall down and all of a sudden you've got 20,000. So this is how this is measuring this chart through net realized profit and loss. The people that are taking profits and, and selling at a loss or or selling, you know, that's, that's what basically what they're doing. But what I like about it is the whole rainbow chart. Because again, it can give you an insight as to where we are in this market. Meaning if we was right down here when it was all red, this was the depth bottom of the market. This is again, buy, off, buy of a lifetime, buy opportunities, red, red, red. These are the times you want to be buying. You don't want to buy when this... Uh, indicator this glass node chart is showing green blue because you're buying at the tops right now because i've been telling patrons to be buying here when it was red orange red all down here i've been buy alerts buy alerts buy alerts because this is the time to buy like a boss so we've seen it now recently come out into the orange zone i just want to make sure i'm still recording so i don't do much long videos uh, if i do yes yeah, recording. <laughs> uh, we've seen it come out of this orange zone we're now in the yellow zone right now this can still come back down and test this so uh, go orange again but right now we are in the yellow zone so what does it mean like are we gonna have a short bear ra bull rally i don't know like because obviously when it goes green and blue that's it boom you're at the top if you see this go dark blue you are at the top this is euphoric we have we're not there yet we're in this yellow zone and maybe this yellow can hover for a long period of time you know, because this is, this is like a, a long time frame, you know. It stayed yellow for years and years. Look at this, look. If you look down at the bottom here, it says 2016, right? So when it peaked yellow, 2016, it took, it was yellow for a long time. 
2017. It didn't actually go oh, uh, blue until 2018, so two years. So we could see this stay yellow for two years, which would push us through to 2025. And then we might see a little hint of a blue. But if you notice, look, when this last cycle came about, we never saw it go blue. It stayed green. So this is why it's important to have more than just one data chart or analysis chart to, to confirm what you want to do with yourself. Because this, if you were just going with this, you probably would have missed the top because you've been wait, waiting for that blue sign and it never ever came. It peaked here, it peaked here. I got a feeling it could peak this time around and we might see it peak, peak blue. And if it does, I am straight up selling everything because it doesn't happen often. Look, back in years ago, it happened at peak blue, peak blue, peak blue. And it had a small little peak of blue here. It does not happen often. So if I see this peak blue, I'm sending everything that is the top. That's euphoric. Euphoria. And you can see it here, this data. Look at it. the words. Look at the words. Look, capitulation, belief, denial, euphoric moment. When everybody wants to buy crypto because everyone's making money. Your sister, your granny next door. Everyone be making money. That's when it's going to go blue and euphoria. And I'm selling the lot. And again, I'll pay attention to this. So if you don't want to miss it, become a patron. I will be dropping you posts and pictures so you can see. There should be like a little a button that I can press to print this screen. Oh, look, here, look, to the camera. Just click on that and just save it like that. Because this is what I'm going to do for my patrons. Look, bomb. Just save it done. And I'm going to upload that to my patrons so they can see this chart. And I'm going to keep giving it to them uh, often so they can, you know, keep seeing this. And if you don't want to miss it, uh, miss? <laughs> if you don't want to miss it, Become a Patreon, seven tiers, take your pick. This is what it's about. This is what crypto is about. It's about having good analysis, understanding what you're doing with yourself in crypto, knowing exactly where you want to go, knowing when to take profits, knowing when to buy, and having clean analysis that's not going to confuse you. This is what it's about. Come over here. I've got seven tiers, take your pick. Obviously, I'm showing them great buy alerts and stuff as well. If you go for my exclusive VIP partner tier, it will unlock all my posts. Everything, the glass node stuff that I'm going to share, all of this. So you can see when I'm buying, when I'm staking, when I'm selling, when I'm analyzing, glass noding, you best believe, all of that. <laughs> and if you want to do what many other people are doing, they're going for my CEO tier, the next tier above. Why? Because it gives you access to my VIP Telegram group. Let me grab it up. Um, and in there, I talk to them way before I buy, way before I sell. We're discussing things in Telegram, my you know, little VIP group. And there's big money in that space. They know how to make money sharing great projects all the time. So come over there, check it out. Guys, uh, I'm going to leave it here. This was very clean and simple. Hopefully, this has helped you on your journey so far. Uh, I will be taking photos of this. Let me go over to the other one, MVRV score. Uh, like this, little bomb. Take a photo like that. Uh, and I'm just going to save that. Bomb done. And yeah, I'm just going to upload these to the Patreon so they can, now they can look at it because, you know, they're getting the most recent data. This basically goes from what's going on today, right? So uh, I'm going to leave it with them and then they can have a look and then I will just keep dropping it to them often so they can see what's going on as well. Get all that recent data. I might just put it in like a little folder or something online so you guys can just keep going on and having a look. Uh, so yeah, guys, if you like this, drop that like, give me a subscribe. Thank you for watching. Big up to you all. Keep doing your thing and I will see you in my next video. Cheers.